Fast forward to the past week. She requested $350 from me to pay for the hotel she bought for us in Florida and $250 for her court fees because she missed court for another case of driving uninsured and had a bench warrant out for her arrest. I sent her the money both times, but that was the money I had set aside to help her with her $500 fine. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for not helping a girl I've been exclusively dating for seven months that I cannot pay her $500 fine for bringing weed through the airport? But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscription, and smacking of the bell to instantly be notified of new videos. This video demonstrates how some guys are so stupid and desperate for female attention and validation, they can't see the red flag staring them in the face. Additionally, it also serves as a warning for you younger guys how older women settled and choose you because they know how to manipulate you. Let's begin the journey. So I, male 22, have been exclusively seeing this woman 28 for seven months now. We spend every weekend together and last month I took her on a trip to Jamaica for her birthday. I paid for everything on the trip and we had a great time. On the way back from the trip, she snuck some weed into her suitcase and we just happened to be randomly searched at the airport in Florida. Slap to the back of the head. That was for seriously dating a 28-year-old woman in her epiphany stage about to hit the wall. I get you think you're smart and cool hitting that. However, here is where you're dumb. Most 28-year-old women have enough life experience to pussy whip most 22-year-old guys. Why do I have the feeling you're the guy in the kickball world of dating game? You were always picked last to be on the team. If so, it is this desperation that these women prey upon when they feel it's time to settle down or want a safe guy, meaning one they can control and manipulate. We got detained, missed our flights back home, and she was told that she had 30 days to pay off a $500 fine before it turned into a $5,000 fine. I told her I would help her with that. Slap to the back of the head. Dude, did your IQ take a vacation also and forget to come back? She put drugs in her suitcase. Seriously, is the hmm she gave you so good she sucked your pea brain through your manly garden hose? Why the hell are you even giving her money? You could be on your way to federal prison and all for a piece of donkey. Guys, how much do you want to bet this brother had ignored the red flags before which even led to this outcome? Under the principle of we teach people how to treat us, what in the name of God of simpery did he do that she thought she could get away with this in their relationship? In the comments below, tell what you would do if a woman did this while you were on vacation with her in Florida and get caught. Fast forward to the past week. She requested $350 from me to pay for the hotel she bought for us in Florida and $250 for her court fees because she missed court 
for another case of driving uninsured and had a bench warrant out for her arrest. I sent her the money both times, but that was the money I had set aside to help her with her $500 fine. Slap to the back of the head. That was for still being with her. Slap to the back of the head. That was for sending her money. Slap to the back of the head. That was for staying with a woman who's clearly using you and clearly has you pee whooped. Let's see. After seven months, she got you to pay for a vacation to Jamaica. She put drugs in the suitcase, got you to pay for her money towards her fines, and has a bench warrant out on her because she was previously driving without insurance. Guys, how much do you want to bet this woman also has a bunch of god-awful tattoos going with this as well? Okay, how many of you are out there right now listening to this believe this woman is a long-term relationship material? Please raise your hand. I'll wait. Bueller. Bueller. Okay, moving on. He continues. I sent her the money both times, but that was the money I had set aside to help her with the $500 fine. She must pay the fine by Sunday and I recently had issues with my car, so I had to take it into the shop to get it fixed, and I had to pay a lot for it. I need my car for work and the gym. I texted her that I could not help her pay for her, her fine because I had already sent her money that month and I had to get my car fixed and she was very upset with me. Oh, boo freaking who? Do you all see the manipulation going on here? Am I the only one? She lives with her father, so I suggest that she ask for, for his help to pay the fine. Also, she did not want to see me this weekend because I told her I must go to a podcast. I'm on Friday and I would not be able to see her on Saturday. We have a very strong bond. Really? Yeah, and so does an abuser and the abused. It's called trauma bonding, along with a sprinkle of codependency. We have a very strong bond and are both into fitness and have helped each other with bills multiple times in the past before, but it just seems like I'm doing too much, especially because she was the one who got herself into the situation with bringing illegal substances we back from Jamaica. Gee, you think? Now, he has some edits here. Edit one. I live at home with my parents and have no bills because I'm a student and run an online business. She lives at home with her mom and dad but has big car payments and pays rent. Also, she's very attracted to me and doesn't ask me for money until a few months into dating. Sometimes she would even often accuse me of talking to other women and feel jealous or insecure about nothing. So in other words, she's a 28 year old loser with a proven history of poor choices and has been playing the long con with you. The fact is, she is accusing you of talking or seeing perhaps other women, says to me, she's projecting. Never forget guys, people who cheat think everyone else is doing it. So if you are faithful in your relationship and her behavior changes and she accuses you of cheating, time to start investigating what she's doing. Edit number two. She's coming today to get her AirPods she left at my house. We are going to talk about a few things. 
but it seems like she will choose to be single and not want to see me anymore after I make it clear to her that I can't keep sending her money. Gee, that took you long enough to figure that out. Normally, I would recap today's lesson. However, my pimp hand is tired, it hurts, and frankly, I'm disgusted with this brother at this moment. In the comments below, tell me what lessons you've learned in today's video. Let's call it audience participation, shall we? Also, if you know a dumbass like this, send him this video and share my channel. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I suggest you take a moment to check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and the support helps me make more content for you.